Hello everyone, so I thought I'd show off the Metcalf buildings, uh, which I've been making for a while. You can see I've got quite a lot of them. Um, so let's start with the basics, which are the platforms. So yeah, these are pretty good, pretty versatile uh, platform kits. Basically, they come in a pack, flat pack of, um, you get about four sheets worth of this um, surface card, and then loads and loads of walls, loads of um, bits, you know, these, these walls to go on the side, and loads of, loads of bits to strengthen it underneath, and ending bits, and as many of those as you could need. Actually, and it gives you very specific instructions about how to do it. The only thing they're slightly short on is these edging strips. I wish they had slightly more of those because I like to have edging on both sides of my platforms. Um, you can build them either as kind of island, island platforms like this. You can build them any width. It lets you just decide for yourself how much of it you need. Um, you can also build them curved, which is great, which I haven't done. But it, they show you how to measure it and... Um, and do that in the instructions. Uh, you can also build them with rear walls like that with caps sort of um, capped off with some nice stones. Um, as you can see I made I've, I've made two of these to go with my main station. I've also made a huge amount I'd recommend doing this uh, make some end pieces which can go anywhere. So basically you make loads of flat you know I've, I've made you know several meters worth of just um, straight-ended, you know, platform here that I can arrange in any configuration to, you know, suit whatever I'm doing at the time, and then I can end it off with one of these and just stick these on um, either end. Uh, what you'll probably need if you're going to have station buildings is a slightly wider piece like this. Um, you'll see I've got extra stripping here so that when I attach, oop, let's see if we can get it in shot. You see, so you see that when I attach them like this, uh, the edging stripping mat matches up, and so we can have a bay platform um, just coming in here like that. Um, right, so that's the platforms. So here we are with the platforms in situ. Uh, this is, incidentally, these two platforms came out of one kit. That's as much as I, about as much as I could make with one kit, and they're both double, double-sided platforms. So the idea is that at some point I'll be able to get a slightly less sharp curve there and bring this other platform in on the other side of there, and then if I want, there could be another platform on the other side of there. And I may even extend these to make them slightly longer. But you see, this one is made up of an ending piece there um, and two of these like longer segments. So I've made four long segments and a, an ending piece each. I could probably do more if I wanted um, out of that pack. There were a few leftovers over here. You can see how I fit them together. Uh, so this is where my main station is kind of situated at the moment. I've got, um, you know, two longer bits here which provide room for a sort of bay platform for this 153 here. Um, this is where, these are where the building, the station buildings actually stand. And then there's shorter ending bits on there. Uh, I tend to prefer actually not to do it with the walls because that gives me more options in terms of you know whether I want to put a platform here, there, you know, in there or whatever. Uh, it's very very useful. Um, so you can see it gives you a lot of options in terms of how you want to set up your your station. So here's uh, one of the major kits I've bought. This is um, the engine shed kit, two road engine shed. It comes with enough card to do the inside and out. So you've got interior walls, uh, roof. Um, braces like that which look great and then you see it's got windows in the roof so you can see through you can see the the construction of the thing it looks really very good and it just about fits two so imagine two A4s it fits it fits perfectly in, in there um, nice and sheltered in this kit also you get a little workshop a uh, little workshop building where I guess they fix parts or, or whatever so that will both of these come in one kit so here's the signal box kit. This one comes with two little line side structures. There's a fuel storage little shed thing. Looks pretty, pretty fair enough. That took about 20 seconds to build. Um, and I guess this is a little workshop or just a line side hut of some sort. And that's that's pretty nice. It comes with all the glazing and everything you need to do, roof tiling, um, chimneys, that sort of thing. The signal box. This one was really quick to do. I did this in about two hours. It comes with all kinds of nice little details, like you've got a chimney you can put on there. 
You've got little, um, whatever these are. I don't actually know what those are. Um, you've got nice stairs, nicely detailed uh, exterior and everything. The only thing that's slightly disappointing, as you can see, is that there's no interior in there. Uh, which I don't mind so much, but if you really wanted to make it look like, I, I suppose you could um, supply your own interior and that could look pretty cool. Um, so that's the single box. Footbridge. And another very, very quick job. This was a day, I think. Oh no, it was actually a couple of hours. It was very, very quick to do. Um, these are customizable in terms of their length. You can, um, I actually cut this down. This was a little bit longer. And I cut this down because I wanted it to fit directly over a double track mainline. Um, each side also, if you buy two of these, you can extend it and you can put on an extra length over here and make it a three, three uh, cross platform that cr uh, goes over three um, sets of tracks. Um, the really nice thing about these is that it comes with an extra base which is very useful if you've got trains with pantographs because of course you're going to need the extra height when it's sitting on the platform like that it's actually not quite high enough off the ground um, so these these are extra base sections which fit on really very snugly which is great so that's very useful it also it allows you if you've got a platform only on one side and no platform on the other it will enable you to sit one on the platform and one without, or if you just want extra height, uh, so you can get slightly taller things through. There you go, you've got a slightly taller um, little footbridge. And here we are, these are my favourite. These are the part of the country station kit. Uh, this, both the smaller building and this main building come in one kit. Uh, it's pretty impressive actually, that all of this comes in one, one big kit. Uh, here's the, what they call the uh, platform shelter, even though it looks like a you know, fairly substantial um, station building in itself. These are, they have two waiting rooms. There's a general room. They still have men's, uh, you know, gentlemen's and, and uh, ladies, different different waiting rooms. It comes with a whole bunch of little detail things. So you can, you know, this general room sign, all the posters on the side. And the nice thing about these is they show both an HST, a uh, little poster of London, and an A4 which is really nice. Uh, I happen to have all of those models, so pretty good. Um, I would advise, I know it's a pain and it may seem boring at the time, you just want to get them thing, the things finished, but do add the chimney pots and do add the roof tiling because it just makes it look so much better. Just that extra bit of detail. This one wasn't quite so quick to do, uh, maybe because I wasn't used to doing them yet. Uh, I've made them so that the roof, so that the chimney pots can, the you know chimney stacks can come out. Uh, so that I can put them away when I'm storing them and they don't get damaged. Here's the main building. Uh, this one I really like. So you can see we've got interiors for several different rooms. Um, we've got waiting rooms. There's a booking office through here. You can see you've actually got interior walls there and there which show, which show that. You could light these up, put figures inside. And, you know, they're very versatile. They're, op they're open to all kinds of modification. There's the other side. Um, I haven't built, I'm going to buy the big terminus building, uh, the mainline station building, because I'd really like to put one of those as my terminus. But yeah, that's a job for another day. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed seeing these. I've really had a lot of fun building them. They're, they're actually surprisingly quick to do. You wouldn't think that they'd be that easy or, um, or, or quick, but they, they really are. I'm surprised how, how fast I was able to do them. And make sure you read the instructions carefully before you do it, before you do anything. But to be honest, after a while, you get so used to how they logically put these together that it's, it's really easy to figure out. And they look great. So go and have some fun with these. See you next time.